Norm Clark is one of Las Vegas' most notable and recognizable celebrities in town. This eye patch man about town knows it all about everything in terms of the celebrity scene. So Norm, tell us a little bit about yourself and where you've been and a little bit about your private life, but keep it clean. All right, Judy, I'll try to, that last it's part's gonna be tough. It's but, a daytime show. <laughs> right. Um, I grew up in a little town in Montana. Um, I, uh, my big break came when I delivered a newspaper ad to our little weekly newspaper. I asked, this, uh, because I was such a sports fan, I asked the editor if he was going to cover the basketball tournament that weekend. He wasn't, and he said, why don't you cover it for me? And next thing I knew, I had the job. And when, he, uh, when I uh, turned in my story, he gave it a quick read, took out his checkbook and paid me. And it was for the princely sum of $5. <laughs> and um, that's when I knew there was a lot of money to be made in journalism. So back now in July, you actually took a hiatus and a medical leave from the RG. So tell us how you're doing now and what you're up to. Well, I'm doing just great. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, I retired. I took, uh, I took off five, uh, well, I took off five, uh, five weeks of medical leave. When I came back, um, it was clear that I needed more time. And so um, with the deadlines and with the medication, I just decided that I was just going to retire. It was time to retire, I thought. <laughs> so what are the most fun, memorable things that uh, you remember reporting on that were so unique and the whole public knows about? Madonna, Michael Jackson? Um, I think probably uh, the biggest story of my career was when I broke the story that, that Denver was getting baseball. Mm -hmm. But when I moved to Las Vegas, the biggest story of my career from, a, from an entertainment standpoint was I broke the story that Britney Spears got married over at the Palms during a New Year's weekend in 2003, 2004, that weekend that went from 2003 to 2004, and then got uh, her annulment um, 55 hours later, so it was a monster story, and I was. How do you get your information? From everybody, from everybody. How they know you they. You know, I was in the I was in the paper <coughs> so much that they uh, people knew. You know, they saw my phone number and they go, "Okay, I'm going to call," and I'd have to vet it. I'd have to call and make a call to somebody else to double to check confirm, things. Right? Yeah, so. Um, but I got, uh, I got a great tip that Michael Jackson was going to end his um, two and a half year um, self-exile in, in, uh, in Europe. And he ended up uh, flying in here on Christmas Eve back in 2006. So when you're not doing all of this stuff, um, what do you enjoy doing for fun? I love being with my wife, you know, uh, retirement, the great thing about retirement was we got to travel. We went to uh, Charleston, uh, South Carolina. We went to Savannah, Georgia. We went to Zion National Park and Bryce, same weekend. We went to San Francisco for our belated honeymoon. Um, we just had the greatest time and she just kept saying, I love your retirement. Let's plan another trip. Let's go do something. And so then when I got this job, uh, part of it, the stipulation was now we've got to still be able to be freed up on weekends. So is there anything in this conversation we missed or we didn't touch on? Well, I, uh, the loves of my life are my wife and my two dogs. Unfortunately, we put them in a room because they would have gone crazy, but maybe we'll put them in the next interview. Uh, uh, my dogs are named Rumor and Scandal, and um, uh, my wife has threatened to adopt a third and name it Retraction. And uh, let's see, I mean, we just, uh, we love Las Vegas. Uh, the readers here have been very, very kind to me, and uh, 
I, I consider this the, the greatest job of my life and uh, loved every, every minute of it. Well, thank you, Norm, so much for coming here t today and being with us today and sharing. And uh, we really, really appreciate having you here today. This is Judy Lloyd from Sun City Anthem saying goodbye for now. Thank you, Judy.